Well, it's time for our business segment now, and we'll be returning to Washington to look at that 99-page bill the House of Representatives has passed in order to avoid a government default. Charles Pellegrin, our business editor here at France 24, is here to take us through the details. Good morning, Sharon. Uh, the U.S.'s two major parties have managed to come together in the House of Representatives, at least, to kick the can down the road, so to speak. Uh, the bill, which still needs approval in the Senate before being signed into law, doesn't raise the debt limit. It only suspends it until 2025 after the next presidential election. The hope now is that the law gets to President Biden's desk this weekend ahead of the June 5th deadline, at which the government will start being unable to pay its employees, Social Security, or the interest on its national debt. Now, looking at what's actually in the bill, it's definitely a compromise between Republican and Democratic policy priorities. Uh, first off, the GOP's initial demand to cap non-defense spending for 10 years has been brought down to two years. The White House estimates this will lead to a trillion dollars in savings. Republicans succeeded in reallocating the unspent COVID relief fund, which the Congressional Budget Office stands, says stands at $30 billion. They also succeeded in raising the age at which people have to work in order to get food stamps from 50 to 54 years old. Democrats managed to secure the $80 billion needed to beef up the Internal Revenue Service in order to enforce taxes on the wealthiest Americans and licensing for new energy product projects, whether fossil fuel or renewable based, will be made easier and faster. Well, the deal making it through the House of Representatives has lowered the possibility of a government default, which would badly damage the U.S.'s creditworthiness and lead to huge disruption on the U.S. Treasuries market, which represents $24 trillion in outstanding debt. This means European markets are opening higher this Thursday. As you can see, the FTSE in London up one quarter of a percent and the Paris CAC all, as well as the DAX in Frankfurt up by over half a percent. Uh, Asian markets trading uh, mostly higher as well, except uh, for the uh, Kospi in Seoul. We'll have those figures up uh, with you uh, shortly. Uh, worries there about the strength of China's recover economic re recovery are still uh, very much present, though. Uh, I guess, and there we go, there we have it with the Shanghai Composite just flat and the Kospi in Seoul down under a third of a percent with Hang Seng in Hong Kong. Uh, up two tenths of a percent and Nikkei in Tokyo up eight tenths of a percent at the close. Well, hundreds, hundreds of Amazon workers protested on Wednesday opposing the tech giant's lack of progress on climate goals and its new return to office policy, which mandates three days a week of physical presence. Workers demonstrated during their lunch break at the Seattle headquarters. Uh, this is happening as the company has been on a cost cutting drive, which led to 27,000 layoffs since January. A recent report showed that Amazon might be undercounting its carbon footprint by only taking into account Amazon-branded products. Uh, we want Amazon to do better. We want uh, the uh, warehouse workers to have better conditions. We want uh, responsibility towards uh, climate problems and climate impact. Uh, we want to return to office uh, to consider individuals, uh, individual people, some of the tech workers uh, are uh, neurodivergent and the office is not the, per the perfect place for them. Uh, some are doing the per their job perfectly well uh, from home. Well, German consumers are feeling the pinch in their pocketbooks. Despite inflation falling to 6.1% in May from the previous month, food prices remain too high for many shoppers who are now turning to food banks for help. This as the economy has technically entered a recession. Catherine Viet has more. Long lines form outside this food bank in Berlin. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which sent prices soaring, the organization's coordinator says the number of households they are helping has doubled. Now, there are people coming who've hit their income limits. They say the prices have risen so much now. And now they know they are eligible for the food bank, so they come before they got by with their own money. With Germany technically in a recession, inflation remains stubbornly high, especially for food prices. Despite the rate falling from 7.2 percent in April to 6.1 percent in May. Economists say it will still take many months before consumers see price tags reflect the easing levels of inflation. At this market in Cologne, shoppers are much more price conscious. 
I shop more carefully. For example, I always make a plan at the beginning of the week about what I'm going to cook and when, and then I go shopping. Otherwise, one sometimes makes impulse purchases in between. I avoid those now. Adding to consumers' woes, declining purchasing power. Germany's statistics office said real wages were 2.3 percent lower in the first quarter compared to a year ago, despite a 5.6 percent increase in nominal wages. And finally, rapper Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, formerly known as P. Diddy or Puff Daddy, is accusing global drinks group Diageo of not respecting the terms of their partnership over his tequila brand De Leon. The hip-hop mogul filed a complaint against the UK group in New York, saying they neglected his brand because he is black, investing more into rival brands and limiting the distribution of De Leon to uh, certain neighborhoods. Diageo uh, denies these, allegation, uh, these allegations. The lawsuit, though, cites a 2019 conversation in which a Diageo executive allegedly said Mr. Combs' brands would be more widespread had he been Martha Stewart. And would they forget is that Martha Stewart actually went to prison for five months, so I don't know what that... Uh, <laughs> that was not the, not the best uh, analogy to make. So we could have potentially seen him on the cover of Sports Illustrated <laughs> this month, in that case, in another world. Sean Pellegrin, thank you so much 